that is the face of amazeballs. And you know what, I am quite old, I'm almost 40, believe it or not. I did just almost walk through the other door into the toilets. Oops. Buenas tardes and welcome back to San Luis Potosí. Today is Domingo and there's 60s and 70s music in the background. What could be going on? I'm at a classic car show. <laughs> right, so as you can see once again, it's a lovely sunny day. The weather in San Luis Potosí is literally spot on. Beautiful, there isn't a cloud in the sky. It's amazing. And you know what, let's start off by just saying I love cars, all right? If there's one thing you should know about me, is that I love cars. And you might have seen in other videos, I never ride a bike or a motorbike. That's because I can't. I'm hopeless with balance, but I am the best car driver on the planet. It is something that I really miss. And you know what? I am quite old. I'm almost 40, believe it or not. Well, in four years. Three years now. So I remember some of these cars. You know, there's old Renaults and Fords and VW Beetles. Oh my God, I love the VW Beetles. There's so many. You know, it reminds me when I was in Tasco with the uh, taxis that are all the VW Beetles. It's beautiful, there's Mustangs, there's Fords, you name it. Let's take a look around and avoid the copyrighted music in the background. This is an Opal Record. It looks bizarrely similar to a Ford Cortina that my dad used to have in the 80s. Yes, I am that old. Get over it. <laughs> but it was brown. Opal, Vauxhall in Europe. I used to have a Vauxhall Corsa and a Vauxhall Vectra. Car geek, sorry. Look at this man. Plymouth. It's so shiny. Shiny and silver. I almost don't want to touch it. Beautiful. I would love to drive one of these cars. And look at the interior. Oh my God, look at the interior. This is cool. I love cars, they're so good. This car show is in Plaza de la Fundadores, which is quite central. As well as all the cars, there's also um, little stalls everywhere you can, where you can buy little toy cars, which literally makes my head explode because I had so many little toy cars when I was a kid. I don't know where those cars are. Maybe my mum can let me know in the comments. Oh my God, I thought that was a real baby. <laughs> is it a real baby? No, it's a doll. Thank Christ. Oh, this is so much fun. Look, there's the Ghostbusters car, the uh, DeLorean, Back to the Future, Batmobile. Oh my God. This is like a car lover's orgasm. And you got the mystery machine from um, Scooby-Doo. And little figures as well. How cool. Velma. Look, it's the original box for the car from Ghostbusters. I'm having a total geek out right now. Look, it's Slimer. Oh my God. I used to have a Marshmallow Man toy when I was a child. I used to play with him in the bath. <laughs> Okay, genug autos for ein Tag, einen Tag as German for Spanish. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Necesito una manzanita sol, mi favorito, favorito, favorito. 
And then I'm gonna get on to what this video was actually meant to be about, which is food. Yes! I've headed north <laughs> on the hunt for comida mex mexicana. Now, there is a popular dish, signature dish in San Luis Potosí, and it is enchiladas potosinas. I'm so excited. I'm really hungry. I've, I wanted to go to like a more authentic little place, but I can't bother to walk that far. So I found somewhere that looks a bit mainstream, Restaurant Pueblito Mexicano. They do enchiladas potosinas for 79 pesos. I'm hungry. This is going to be awesome. Let's eat. This place is really nice. It's quite busy. As you can see, typical Mexican food, enchiladas, enchiladas, sopas. But I'm not going to do that. I think we're going to go straight to the enchiladas potosinas. That one, Enchiladas Hostecas, is a different variety, I believe. Con Cecina is um, dried meat. But we're not going to have that. Enchiladas Potosinas is the one. It does say 89 pesos. Look at that, beautiful. Right, what world am I living in when I have decent lighting in a food place? Look at this, it's beautiful. You get like a massive plate thing. It's like a metal plate with eight enchiladas on. Onion, guacamole. This looks beautiful. It looks a bit too much. You might think that they look a bit like empanadas, but apparently the difference is it's a different type of flour that is used. And also the flour is basically like infused with chili, I believe. And apparently this came from when they were first created in the early 1900s. It was an accident, so this guy was making something with flour and there were like particles or pieces of um, chili in the, the thing he was making. So it became this, and it became Empanadas Potosinas. Beautiful, and still the like. Got cheese on top of the this is amazing. That is the face of amazement. It's got like cheese inside. So I'm assuming you can get different um, varieties. Mm. This is heaven. Oh, a bit I like guacamole. Now, whoever suggested this to me, which is literally everyone, thank you very much. <laughs> because this is beautiful. Salsa, wonderful. That's really nice. Let's put that on top of the empanadas. OMG to the max. This is heaven. This is what I always say when I do food videos. I want you to think of other words. I think I need someone to carry me out of here. Mm. You can really taste the chili. The empanada. Beautiful. Frijoles, queso. Mm. I think this is probably enough for two people, but when does that ever stop me? Mm. Wowzers, that was beautiful. I did say at the beginning, before I went in there, that it did feel slightly mainstream. That might just be my opinion, I could be wrong, but I'm sure there's plenty of other places in San Luis Potosí where you can have proper, authentic enchiladas potosinas. If you know of any, why don't you let me know in the comments down below. That will help other viewers as well. Thank you very much. Wonderful. And another thing you can let me know about in the comments is I'm thinking of doing a video like a compilation video of maybe 10 best authentic Mexican foods you can eat in Mexico. Let me know. And the reason for that is, the reason I think it might be a good idea is because when, before I came to Mexico, I admit, I was a stupid, naive, dumbass foreigner. I didn't know there was a difference between Tex-Mex and Mexican food. Really, that's the truth. I thought burritos were Mexican. How thick am I? <laughs> and, you know, the chances are, if you're watching this and you haven't been to Mexico before, perhaps you might think the same. You probably don't. I'm probably just stupid, but, you know, it might be a good idea to do that. So yeah, watch out for that soon, possibly. And without waffling on too much about food, I could do that forever by the way, especially in Mexico. You know, there's so much variety in Mexico in terms of food and just coming to another area like this, where you have another signature dish in another area of Mexico, you know, it's not just about tacos. Obviously they're amazing, but you know, go to someone like Puebla, Mole Poblano, Yucatan, Panuchos Sabutes. I feel like such a food connoisseur in Mexico now. It's amazing. That's probably one of the best things I've gotten out of, gotten, got out of Mexico. 
is the experience with food. So um, that is the ultimate thing you must do when you come to Mexico. Forget burritos in you know, Taco Bell. That is the ultimate sin. Do not go to Taco Bell. Have proper Mexican food. Right, we've been to a car show. We've eaten enchiladas, potesinas. It's time to go to a market. We haven't done that for a while. This market is quite close to the place that I ate food. It's Miguel Hidalgo Mercado. Mercado Miguel Hidalgo. I think that's right. Let's go and have a look inside. I did just almost walk through the other door into the toilets. Oops, I'm hot. Now it is Sunday about five o'clock, so everyone's closing up. <laughs> but there are some places open. There's like meat places, fish places, flowers. Go on the bike back there and some places where you can get some food. So there are places you can get enchiladas potesinas. So this could be an alternative for you if you're looking for that kind of food. For example, behind me. Also, that place behind me, not the shutters, that there. 50 pesos for a thing of enchiladas that is like maybe about 10 of them in there. I should have counted. But um, that's really cheap. You know, considering I just paid 89 for eight, um, that's awesome. And you know what? message of this video along with the food message is the fact that I'm really into markets now in Mexico since I went to the one in Naples the I can't say it tang tianguis you know what I mean the moving markets and um, yeah you can just get things so cheaper more affordable and also better quality in my experience it might not be the same everywhere but you know on the whole markets are the place to go especially for living in Mexico for a long period like me and you know maybe you are on more of a budget, month to month. Beautiful. And you've got clothes down there, bags, the usual malarkey that you get in um, these markets. But it's not like Tapito, that's for sure. Right, it's time to go home. I must admit, I've been naughty. I've been to Ciudadano con el Perro the best clothing shop in Mexico for cheap ass clothes. So I bought three t-shirts because this t-shirt I bought in 2017, Dallas Walmart Storm Chasing. I know where I bought every single t-shirt I've got. But it's time to get some new stuff and say goodbye to the crappy old stuff. So there's one more video coming from San Luis Potosí, well at least the city. Don't panic, there will be more. And I'm gonna go around on the tourist bus, I think. I've never done that before. So stay tuned for that one. If you wanna see that, don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm sick of saying that. I need to come up with something new. But then I'll be off to Real de Catorce, Cedral, Ciudad Valles, the waterfall place, everywhere you've told me in the comments. So um, stay tuned. I'll catch you later.